All right, everybody. So I wanted to talk about this whole DJ Envy and Caesar thing. Um, you already know that Caesar is DJ Envy's business associate that got arrested. He bonded out, of course. And so he went on to IG Live and just started talking, 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 talking about an open case, about an open case, right? So let's talk about the things he said. I watched the whole live stream, so you didn't have to. Let's get it. So this whole entire live, and like, I'm sure that every single thing that this man said in his live is going to be used against him in the court of law. Like, girl, like, like so this whole entire live to me was just like watching a car crash. It's like, it's so horrible. It's so, you you can tell that things are devolving, but you can't look away. It's just like, oh my God, is, is he actually doing this shit? Now let's start from the very beginning, right? Because that's a very good place to start. Like they said, in Sound of Music. Now, keep in mind that in this interview here, Caesar said that he learned, and DJ Envy told us that he, you know, uh, learned all this real estate stuff in prison, right? But Caesar from his own mouth said that he learned real estate in prison from someone else who was doing real estate or something in New Jersey who, who had gone to prison for a political corruption charge. I think that's what he said. Met him in prison. They, they got the thing going on. Right. So I just want us to keep that in mind as we go through this live stream that this man did. So in the live, he first says that everybody has attorneys. We got to watch what we say. Um, but yet he's over here blabbing. That's the same thing that DJ Envy said to us when he responded on The Breakfast Club. He was just like, oh, my lawyers don't want me to say anything. Um, I got to watch what I say. And they both are on here talking. And I'm just like, why is that? And we get to the reason why. Um, a little bit later, I will get on that in a second. So he was just talking about how many people like want to sue him. He was just like, I see my mailman and I think he's going to sue me. <laughs> he's like his landscaper and everybody. So he goes on to say, okay, well, everybody wants, when you're rich and successful, basically, like I'm just paraphrasing, y'all could go watch the whole thing. But you know, he's like, when you're rich, successful, when you're making moves, when you're making boss bitch moves, everybody wants to be around you uh, when you're successful. He's like, I helped all these people with money you know, put cars and houses, whatever in, in, in my name, give them money when they when they needed it, blah, blah, blah. As soon as shit hit the fan, where are all these people at? I mean, he was up there pissed. <laughs> he was like, you mean to tell me I, yeah, I might've been, <laughs> he didn't say this, obviously, I'm just saying it. But you know, my interpretation, he's just like, girl, you know, I'm doing all this fraud. I'm doing all this bullshit. I didn't help pay y'all credit cards off and all this shit. Now the feds coming after me. Ain't nobody gonna speak. <laughs> Ain't nobody gonna speak up, girl. So then he said right here, this this DJ Envy thing is, is interesting, okay? Because he says, he says it breaks his heart that people are basically dragging DJ Envy because he says DJ Envy didn't have anything to do with the 20 lawsuits that Caesar is facing right now. Uh, DJ Envy wasn't in the room. That's what he said, et cetera, et cetera. He wasn't in the room when he made these things, when he, in the lawsuits, whatever. He said he doesn't know why people don't like DJ Envy or don't like him. And I'm just like, girl, y'all really... Is it really that hard to figure it out? Anyway, he was just like saying, okay, on one hand, this, that's the one hand. On one hand, he was saying DJ Envy had nothing to do with it, blah, 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 whatever. And then on the other hand, he said basically that DJ Envy's lawyer, you know, that lawyer's claim that DJ Envy is a victim, you know, that DJ Envy is just one of the many victims of Caesar's, you know, bullshit. Uh, Caesar said that that was the dumbest shit that he ever heard in his life. That's what he said. He said that DJ Envy is just an investor and that they both were partners in a couple real estate transactions, but that's it. He said that DJ Envy is not a victim. He was my partner. He's an investor. And I'm like, whoa, this... <laughs> Caesar said, oh, this, this part I thought was funny. He said, nobody's an investor anymore all of a sudden. Everyone's a victim. <laughs> Caesar said, wait a minute now. You know, what What happened to the event? Now y'all victims? Not everybody. He, he's just like, girl, y'all gonna fuck the family. That's what he said. <laughs> Caesar said, fuck the family. He, he too brutes his bitch. Like, he's just like, girl, y'all really go betray the king? Like, he was really on the live stream, like, really, really bothered, bitch. Like, he was really bothered. He said he had one law, only one lawsuit before 2023. But now that this one guy, I think Jose or one guy, I don't know, this guy named Jose or something, one guy he was like really pissed with. He's like, now that this one guy sued him, people are coming out of the work work to do it. Now I got 20 lawsuits and shit, 20 plus lawsuits. Um, Apparently this guy sued him because he didn't pay him. Apparently this guy sued Caesar because he didn't pay him. 
And then Caesar said, oh, well, I actually paid you. I have the receipts that said that I paid you. But then you go on to say, but then Caesar goes on to say this. If I owe somebody, I owe somebody. No one is here to lie. I owe you. Then you sue me in the court of law. We work it out, whatever. So I'm just like, what is the tea? Did you actually pay them? Or are you saying, oh, no, if I owe somebody, I owe them. It's fine. Take it up in the court. Like, what are you actually saying? He don't know what he's saying. So how can I? And then this was the other kicker to me because... <laughs> I'm just like, do you hear your, do you hear what you're saying, sir? Th this was the kicker. This was the kicker. He said, okay, well, y'all are basically, I'm paraphrasing. He said, y'all are making fun of me. Talk about, oh, I'm going to jail. I'm going to jail. Okay. But y'all about to look stupid as shit because you're going to be, wa you're going to be waiting even longer to get your money back. That's what he said. So, that, you know, like I said, I'm paraphrasing. I'm, I'm summarizing, but that's what he said. So it's just like, so you do pay these people back. You don't pay them back. But then if you don't take me to take me to court, we can say, but then, you know, if I haven't, then, oh, well, if you joking about sending me to jail, you ain't never going to see your money. You ain't never going to get your money back. So why are you joking about, about me being in jail? But at the same time, I paid everybody back and I shouldn't be getting sued. What are you talking about, bro? <laughs> what are you talking about? He said, girl, y'all making fun of me. For going to jail or but that's gonna make it even harder to get your shit back <laughs> as if the feds and shit ain't watching this shit right now like as if the prosecutors and shit ain't tuned into this this live right now girl like this shit really cut <laughs> and then he went on he uh essentially implied that hey you can have a conversation with somebody about money owed you can you know talk let's talk it out instead of going straight to court you suing me we could just talk <laughs> it's like girl give me my fucking money bro <laughs> Give me my fucking money, bro. He said, whatever I'm responsible for, I'm responsible for. If I And keep in mind, the Fed's listening. <laughs> he said, whatever I'm responsible for, I'm responsible for. If I hurt anybody in any way, made their life difficult, then I apologize. But my life has been difficult. <laughs> he, said, he said, what about me? What about my life? What about my life? He said that these people suing him are haters and that they're mad, that they're not, you know, they're not successful. Um... But then our girl, Megan, the reporter, because she watched this live, she went out and tweeted a lot of things. But one of the things she said was this. Um, Caesar is talking about his haters and the 20 lawsuits against him not seeming to understand that a federal wire fraud charge is a lot more serious than a lawsuit and even 20 lawsuits. She said the New Jersey District Attorney Office, <laughs> the, 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 the New Jersey prosecutors, are going to turn out to be the biggest haters he's ever encountered. <laughs> she be, oh, she be dragging it. She be dragging it. And then he goes on, right? He goes on and he says, my whole case, everything that's going on is based on social media. And I'm like, sir, your case is based on what the feds are talking about. <laughs> you, your case is based on what the feds are talking about. It's not based on social media. That's what Tory Lanez thought. That's what Tory Lanez thought too. He thought that his case was based on social media. He was online trying to change the narrative and provoke the victim and making dumbass music videos and songs and social media posts and rants and raves trying to impress the people of social media when he should have been trying to put on a show that same kind of energy. Put that fucking energy and put on a show for, for the court, for the judge, bitch. <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? He's talking about, oh, you could talk shit on this page, talk shit about me. It doesn't bother me. It doesn't matter. And I'm just like, yes, it does bother you because you wouldn't be on here speaking all, just spilling all the tea about an open case to try and defend yourself to strangers. To strangers. Does your lawyer know that you're making these declarations? Does your lawyer know that you're on IG Live right now? I thought it was funny when he said, oh, I've been in the same place. I haven't been running from anyone. And I'm just like, yeah, of course you've been in the same place. Of course you ain't run. You have, you're not allowed to leave the state of New Jersey. What are you talking about? Then he said, I could go to jail, lose it all because I'm a hustler. He said it was a problem when I didn't talk because y'all wanted to know the tea. But now that I'm talking, people are like, oh, well, you shouldn't talk too much. You shouldn't talk about the case. Uh, he said, I know what I can say. All right. Like, he's like, don't worry about me spilling all the tea on Instagram. Like, I know the things that I can, like, I should be saying and should not be saying. So, and I'm just like, I feel like you don't because you wouldn't have done this fucking IG live in the first place if you actually knew the type of things that you could say that wouldn't hurt you versus the type of things that you could say online that, that will because there is a whole 24 minute video 
uh, I'm the, the court just gonna copy and paste that live and put it into the fucking discovery bitch like I'm so serious then of course you can't have a guilty person on anybody's IG live anybody's you know Twitter account social media account without them invoking sky daddy he said only God can control the outcome I'm just like y'all God is so weird <laughs> you know that's they go to mama you know that's they go to soon as their hand is caught in that cookie jar honey they look up to they look up to the sky they look up to sky daddy the last time i mean haven't even touched the bible last time they touched the bible was to swear on it the last time they was in motherfucking court bitch <laughs> oh girl they they love that one they love that one okay now the last things he said was really crazy so he said i'm not crying i'm still gonna sleep in a multi-million dollar home tonight i'm good are you good when I go to jail and I come back out and I flip the shit again three times, what are you going to be doing? Are you still going to be under my post leaving negative comments? And I'm just like, I definitely will, babes. I'll definitely take my chances. <laughs> I will definitely take my chances. Whenever you get out of jail in whatever futuristic sci-fi fucking year that will be. Yes, yes, I will still... I <laughs> That's all I'm going to be doing. You acting like, oh, well, you need to get with a winning team. You are not winning right now. I will take my chances. I'm going to sit my ass down. You talking about, oh, yeah, I'm still going to be sleeping in this house. I'm still going to be, I'm still going to be moving this. I'm still going to be flipping shit. Girl, we going to see. We going to see. And I just want to end this video with this little statement. I think it's very important for us to find ways to not get bamboozled by these fake rich ass niggas, right? You know, I think that behind like when you lift the mask up off of a lot of these capitalist niggas in the community they will be it, it's just nothing but exploitation it's nothing but exploitation and they selling you seminars they doing this doing that but they, but what they're doing is exploiting like y'all exploiting y'all own community y'all wouldn't even go do that to somebody who's fucking <laughs> who's fucking the community up you're doing it to the actual community and then it just sucks how you know a lot of people's mindset from the community has sadly been so affected by the shitty way that society is and how you know we just need a buck we just need a dollar we just need to survive and people will really prey on that like they will prey on that desperation they will use this idea of oh well you gotta get rich quick gotta take you know only 24 hours in a day uh they will use this idea of the all-american dream and money before everything and you know, they will use that and dangle something in front of disenfranchised people's fucking faces, knowing that they themselves are closer to the disenfranchised community that they dangling shit in front of than Bill Gates. Finance wise, I'm talking about money wise, you are closer to the community that you're fucking over and exploiting. To, to, you are closer to their tax bracket than the true movers and shakers in this bitch, than the true 1% than the billionaires. And so you got these fake, you got these pretenders telling you that they they have this clean clear access to capital but you gonna sacrifice something to get that shit in the way that they're approaching it right and and what they're gonna sacrifice not only is their own fucking selves which they clearly just did but they sacrifice the community to do it and then they set up this fucking pyramid scheme like oh well you can get closer to the capital if only you find someone else to exploit who can be on the lower rung lower than you you can be you could be right up here with me all you got to do is find someone else else to exploit and make sure i get a cut of that shit too it's disgusting and i hate that like it it preys on it plays into people's fears it plays into the fact that people are disenfranchised and, and, it, and it's just, it's a monster. It's a monster that eats and eats and eats and it's never satisfied. It's never sat. You see how unhappy and miserable and evil these rich white men, these, you know what I mean? These billionaire rich white racist bitches are. You see how evil and unhappy and unsatisfied they are even with all the coin that they exploited out of the fucking planet. And you gonna do that shit to your own community and think that you gonna be fulfilled and content? Girl, it's not gonna happen. It's not going to happen. So I just hope that we can, I just wish that as time goes on, we abandon this shit and start focusing more like this individualist, like I have to be the king of the fucking planet. I got to make a trillion dollars. I hope we abandon that and start to move towards something that is more collectivist and that work and that chips away at the structure that tries to beat away and, and erase the structures that fuck us up instead of us chipping away and beating away at each other.
Like, I'm so tired of it. But yeah, that's my little soapbox. Thank you so much for watching. Love y'all so much. Hope you enjoyed the video and make sure that you have a good goddamn day. Only pussy, only worship me. Yeah, you could blow me. I ain't the only you so lonely. Insecure, they don't control me.